the forehead of your robot. Hello, my name is Gia the Jaguar, and today I'll be reading a random crappy pasta based on Madagascar, which was the first movie from 2005. By the way, I just made an appearance in the third movie from 2012, Europe's Most Wanted, and I could be rarely seen in the fourth movie from 2014, based on the Nickelodeon series Penguins of Madagascar. So what the fuck was the point of coming here to read this? Well my lion boyfriend Alex wanted me to read this, but I can't tell that he was almost disgusted and confused. He said that the story had bad grammar sometimes, but it was just a wall of text, no paragraphs whatsoever. It also contains pointless suicide references, and blood and gore fiesta. To be fair, making a creepypasta about Madagascar is quite hard, like with Toy Story creepypastas. Look at the old Toy Story pastas for example, they were great, but the new Toy Story pastas are not that great sometimes, only with the likes of Lost THX trailers, featuring Tex killing every character and actor for no reason, just because they were traumatized by the logo, and even the loud deep note. Now with that shit out of the way, circus stick together, and let's read. I'm here to tell you about the story of what happened to me that one night. Believe me, I'm telling you all the truth, so don't be scared. Alright, here it goes. It all started with me at Goodwill shopping for old Disney movies from when I was a child. For example, Alice in Wonderland, and Lady and the Tramp. Oh goody, you can't make a lost episode creepy pasta without the Goodwill, or the likes of that, cliché. Forgot to mention, some of the parts of those movie titles weren't capitalized, which is Wonderland and Tramp. But, continuing. But instead I came across a DVD which was titled Madagascar, was written in black sharpie marker and the characters drawn on the front were Alex, Marty, Gloria and Melman. Good, not trying to be mean, but Madagascar wasn't even a Disney movie you are going to buy or rent, it was a DreamWorks movie. They're badly drawn too, like if was drawn by a four-year-old. So you're saying that they were horribly drawn by a four-year-old? Are you some child roaster or something? You can't tell that I like young children, mostly human ones, but I don't find them unskilled. I just went ahead and bought the DVD and took to the counter to have it paid for. The funny thing was that it was only one dollar and I thought it was a good deal besides it's just a DVD. After I went home, started up my PS4 which it does play DVDs however and inserted the DVD in it. Hey, my little human friend had a PlayStation 4 too, and he used it to watch the twisted episode of Teletubbies, based on liminal spaces, and even a disturbing episode of The Lion Guard, Fully's Inferno, which featured my cheetah friend Fully, getting trapped in forest, and soon led to her burning demise by some monsters. By the way, I won't mind if I read the rest of the story without any interruption. Let's go back. When the movie started up, there were no movie previews. Anyway, a menu pulled up on the screen, which looked wrong and unfinished, but all I saw was only two options, which was, play movie and special features. I soon realized that it was actually a bootleg copy of Madagascar. But after that, I went to special feature and it only had deleted scenes, but no film commentary and that other stuff, just that. I went to the first deleted scene which was titled Marty's Birthday Party, but that's still in the movie. I shrugged it off thinking it was an original version and I selected it. It started with the four friends at Marty's birthday party, but something disturbing just happened. When Marty said his wish was to go to the wild, Alex gets angry and grabs Marty and he takes a sharp piece of bone from one of his sticks and slices Marty's throat. Marty tries to scream but he couldn't because of all the blood that's in his throat and mouth. He then drops dead and ran after the rest of the gang but the scene ended from there. I thought it was kind of disturbing to have that in a kid-friendly movie, but there was one more scene, so I played it. This time it just showed Alex but no other characters. Theirs was no audio, and it seemed like like Alex was hanging up on gallows on a tree. Alex then said, Hey Alex, you won't mind if you proceed the dialogue. Life isn't fair and I can't go home either. Goodbye. Thank you Alex. He hung himself and died immediately from choking and suffocation. 
I then took the disc out and destroyed it, because I don't know what would happen next. I knew that scene ended when Alex dying, but didn't want to take a chance of being next on this cursed DVD. I later got an email, saying that this DVD is in fact a bootleg copy, and these deleted scenes were made by an employee at DreamWorks Animation Studios, who got caught doing this and got fired. This would happen to every lost episode, before they get destroyed. That's all I have to say for now, and bag, that wasn't swell. Oh god. Oh god oh god oh god. My Alex. My lion can't kill himself, while reading this shit fest of the story. I was in great tears, after that one part, where my poor Alex hung himself. By the way, it's a crappy pasta, get over it. Let me list out some problems. Number one, the sentence structuring is barely messed up, featuring run-on sentences. Number two, it was just a wall of text, like I previously stated. Number three, oh my god, the story. It has some cliches, like goodwill and all that jazz. Nothing good to say here, to be exact. The first thing I might point out is Marty's birthday party, the deleted version. What was the point of my Alex getting pissed off and killing Marty, for no goddamn reason? That is just, what the fuck? I, I, oh forget it. The second thing is the other and last deleted scene. I believe it's the scene where my poor Alex got lost in the island at night. And like I stated, he hung himself. What did my poor lion use to hung himself? Was it a noose, or those stringy things from the island trees? God, I can't think of the words. I believe the employee who got fired from DreamWorks for making those scenes, was no other than, you guessed it, God forbid James Winterstone, one of the assholes from those shitty spin pasta stories. Do you think those shitty lost crossover infested cliche THX trailers scary and disturbing? No, it's just repetitive and stupid. The lost THX trend from Spin Pasta even got worse from then, so does the lost episode ones nowadays, featuring more pointless crossovers, and parts that plagiarize famous creepy pastas, for example, Sonic.exe, Sally.exe, Max and Ruby 0004, etc. The DVD for example, with the cover looking like a kid's drawing. Hell, I bet four year olds can draw better, that's their start of art, you know. I still don't even know what was the point of the crudely drawn DVD cover anyway. By the way, DreamWorks wasn't even mentioned until the end. That's all I have to say. This story broke my heart, even though it was terrible. This was certainly my opinion. I will rate this story as a negative 5 out of 10, never want to read it again. It still featured my poor Alex the Lion hanging himself, and you can't tell how upset I was. At least my Alex was still alive with me, and it was swell. My name is Gia the Jaguar, the most beautiful and friendliest circus feline, that brings you this message. Thanks for watching, and have a swell beautiful day my friends, and remember, circus stick together.